So the first session I'm going to discuss is WLAN history. This is the objective. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to describe the basic knowledge about WLAN, WLAN development and list WLAN application scenarios. The content here include the introduction to WLAN, what is WLAN, development and typical application. So the WLAN actually started at the World War II when the U.S. Army used the radio signal for the data transmission. At the year 1971, researchers in Hawaii University invented the first radio network and they called this as the Aloha Net. Okay, this is based on the encapsulation technology. When the years come to the 1990, the IEEE started the A02.11 project and they formulated many standards for the um, WLAN. Okay, so they're using the different standard to control the, um, the different modulation. So this is the way how they actually speed up the wireless speed. So after the 2003, as the WLAN market developed, the technology such as Wi-Fi, CDMA, 3G, LTE, Bluetooth, and many other modes. So this become more and more popular. So for the WLAN, we can able to classification into the four different types. So for the first one, we'll call this as the um, WPAN. Okay, stand for the wireless personal area network. So this network, they only can cover up to the 10 meter. So those technology can able to use in this area, mostly is those um, infrared or Bluetooth. Then the next one is WLAN um, wireless local area network. So this wireless coverage is can up to 100 meter. So many for those technology we call as Wi-Fi. Then the next we have WMAN, wireless metro area network. So this one is actually referred to the, um, the WiMAX carrier that we're using right now. And the last one, WMAN, wireless wide area network. So this one is referred to those technology like 2G, 3G, or LTE. So this is some of the assembler device to be used for all the wireless technology. So we have the, um, the infrared receiver, the Bluetooth headset, the radio frequency phone, and also the mobile phone. Then the next one, what is WLAN? So WLAN is combined computer network and the radio communication technology. So here giving the picture showing um, the difference between the modem, ADSL, WLAN and also the 3G network. So as you can see from here, when compared between the modem and the ADSL, okay, or we can call it as a LAN. So both of them have the same mobility. Okay, they actually have the same level mobility. But when you compare to the bandwidth, so the ADSL or the LAN giving more bandwidth when you're combining with the modem. Then the next one, the LAN compared with WLAN. WLAN right now can able to give us even more bandwidth and mobility is higher than the LAN. Then the last one here is the 3G, 2G when comparing to the WLAN. So compared to the um, only the mobility of course, um, 2G, 3G will be better uh, coverage distance when uh, deal with the WLAN. So here they have another um, questions. What is the relationship between Wi-Fi and WLAN? So and here this, this is the answer. Wi-Fi is a WLAN in compliance with A02.11 standard. So this table is showing all the different version of the uh, Wi-Fi standard. So the very first Wi-Fi is a A02.11. And it started at the years 19 and 97. So currently for this version, it's only camera in the frequency band 2.4 gigahertz. 
the maximum rate can go up to 2 meg. That's the maximum speed. So when go to the years 19 and 99, so they find, finally develop and they have two different new version for the Wi-Fi, which is A and B. And they found out in the 5 gigahertz, they can able to increase the bandwidth uh, the assessing they're using. So this is the A0 to 11A. Okay, they can operate in the frequency band 5 gigahertz. So with this frequency, they can get the rate up to 54 meg. The B is at 11 meg. When it come to the years 2003, so they're going to improve the uh, A0 to 11B to have a greater speed. So they're using the better modulation way to increase the speed of um, the A0 to 11B standard. So now in the G, they can hit up to 54 megabit per second. The next one, A0 to 11N. So this is created on 2009. So this standard can be used in two different frequency band, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. So with A0 to 11N, they have another latest uh, modulation technology can able to achieve the speed up to 600 megabit per second. And lastly, we have the AC wave one and the wave two. So these two, they can able to give us the speed easily up to 1.3 gigabit per second. For the wave two, we can get 3.47 gig per uh, gigabit per second. Content number three. WLAN development. So from a picture here, you can able to see they have a three different generation for WLAN. So the first generation we have A0 to 11B. So this is using the single radio module and it only can work in a 2.4 gigahertz. The speed for this standard can only up to 11 meg and they only support WEP encryption. For the second generation, they have the 11A and G. So for these two um, standard, they're using a different type of the modulation. They start to support the OFDM um, modulation. So with this technology, they can uh, enhance their throughput and the bandwidth. So this is the reason why they can get 54 megabit per second. And they started to support QoS WPA 2.0 with the better security protections for all the data. And the last, we have the third generation WLAN. So the third generation WLAN, we are actually using the A02.11N. So this one support the multi-radio module, high bandwidth and the wide range coverage. So they also can combine with the WiMAX 3G, it's used the max networking to provide the high security. So WLAN have the following advantage when you compare with the wire network. So the first one, mobility. So the mobility is because when we still using the wire network, we'll notice actually we have some of the limitation when we want to move around with the connection, uh, the LAN cable. So you only can stay still at the same area to access to the network. But with the Wi-Fi, yes, you doesn't need to stay at the same place. Flexibility. So for the traditional, the cabling, so you need to have the proper um, the blueprint, okay, the network design before you actually want to deploy all your the switchers and um, the device. Okay, so you have to do the proper uh, cabling the, for the LAN connections. But for the wireless, it doesn't need to worry so much about that because the wireless can easy for you to do the connection from anywhere. Scalability. So the scalability is easy for us to do the expand. So we need to buy another new switch or more cable to perform the, the connection. So you can just using the wireless to form the uh, wireless link. Like example, we can perform some technology like WDS point to point, full mesh connection, or it's just wireless connection without any cable. So, and the last one will be the uh, economicalness. 
Okay, so this one can able to sell, save a lot of cost. So no need to spend too much um, the costing to on the, the device like between the switch and the cable. And the last, typical application. So Tableau provide more flexible networking to improve the working uh, efficient. Like the first example, the stadium new center. The new center for the stadium, they actually depend uh, rely on the wireless to form the um, the broadcasting. Okay, especially for those of the, the live broadcasting. So the using the wireless is more flexible for the camera or for those of the um, the recording. And the next one, exhibition and security hall. So they can do some monitoring and also can provide some free Wi-Fi access for the guests, for those who actually um, visit to the mall. Manufacturing workshop. So this is for those of the monitoring and the remote control here. And the last, the logistic. So this is very simple. So this is just for um, the long distance communication and also can do the wireless remote control. So WNA also provide the user with the real time and the free internet access at any places. So I believe everyone in the some of the uh, open space, like you at a public area, you notice we also can get some free Wi-Fi access. Okay, this is not only fixed to the um, the office building. Of course, when we go to visit some other um, the office building, so they will always create some um, free Wi-Fi access for us to to connect. And also same to the airport. Okay, airport they also will give some the the free Wi-Fi access sitting spot and the coffee shop. So this is summary. So I already do, do some um, brief for the introduction to the WLAN and uh, some of the why is the meaning of WLAN development and the last one is the typical application which is the area that we actually go into using the wireless.